we're gonna tell our lore story. So everybody, get your blankies, <laughs> get them up to your chins, sit around the campfire, whatever you want to do for covert go lore. Woo! It's MTG lore, and um, I am covert go Gina, also known as Let's Go Jackie B on Twitch and YouTube. Who are you? Uh, they call me CGB. It's me. It's CGB. He said it. He said the thing. Yay! Now everyone can go hype in the chat. Guess what? I have emotes now. What? I have emotes on Twitch. You do not. Show them. Shut up. Show me Hype Raymond. Hype Raymond? <laughs> Thanks, J-Ray, for the sub. Yay! <laughs> yeah, also um, Dom. Dom is available in, if, when subs. Dom and subs. That's your emote? Yes! Yes! Raymond Hype! Yay! You know, emotes can be anything you want them to be, right? And that's what I chose. Okay. Is there a problem with <laughs> okay. my choice? No, it's... It's Raymond it's, wearing a maid outfit expressing hype. What's wrong with that? See? KK winks. Uh-huh. Look, we got the, the whole group here. Dom cries. Isabel lurks. It's great. I'm really excited. This is the first time I ever have emotes. I, I did them today. Animal Crossing. My god. It's the best. <laughs> Yay! Okay. So, let's tell the tale of episode 5 from the Innistrad Midnight Hunt lore. Night closes around. It's by K. Arzenal Rivera. Same writer for all the episodes. Very good. So, last time in Innistrad, the nights were growing longer and longer, and the Dawnheart Coven Witch Catilda says the only way to fix it is to hold a festival. Carve some pumpkins, drink some cider, put on Ugg boots and a comfy sweater, but also do a big ritual and put the moon silver key into the sun gold lock under Celestis. And maybe we can fix everything. Who's here? Is it the kitty? <laughs> it's a cat. Yeah, the kitty's been creeping around the room. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like yanking my blanket. Yeah. Arlen Cord, a planeswalker, here she is. Hi. Um, decides to help out after her wolf pack were taken over by the alpha werewolf who used to be her mentor, Tobalar. Oh. Took her wolfies. Very not cool. Arlen, with the help of fellow planeswalkers Teferi, Chandra, Kaya, and Adeline, successfully found the Moon Silver Key at Soren Markov's manor and arrived just as the Harvest Tide Festival is in full swing. Adeline, not a planeswalker, just a tag along, oh. ride along friend. Okay, well, she's a helper. And um, just as they showed up, Tovalar's werewolves show up, and they were attracted by the crowd of human festival goers, which was many, many people. Chandra and Adeline used their combined firepower. Let me see if I can find them over here. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. Yeah, there's one. And... <laughs> that outfit, though. That outfit, though. Ooh. And there's, there's Adeline. Um, they both went and um, tried to help save the people. And then Teferi slowed down the sunset. <laughs> wow. Your face is covered. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to move them. <laughs> um, and he, he slowed down the sunset as much as he could. And then Arlen went to face her mentor. And her maker, really. And though she tries to confront him as a human and fight him, she comes to realize she has to fight him wolf versus wolf. So, boom. This is where our story begins. As the last sunset on Innistrad finishes and the never-ending night begins. Ooh. You psyched? Yeah. Good. You should be. Okay. All right. So, the last thing was Arlen shifting into full, beautiful wolf, fluffy wolf mode. And we begin in Arlen's head. She remembers herself as a child, watching her father doing woodworking in a shop, surrounded by 
Abyssinian symbols. And years later, after traveling the multiverse, she had grown brave enough to go back home and face her parents. If they rejected her, at least she had her wolf pack. Her beautiful, beautiful wolf pack. Hmm. Did you hear the cat meow? It was really loud. Um, <laughs> Boulder, Streak, Red Tooth, and Patience came with her up the hill to the Old Forge, but there wasn't anything there. There had been a fire. Villagers said it must have been an accident. So she never really found out what happened to her parents. I know what happened to them. Oh, do you? No. Oh, okay. I'm guessing. <laughs> so now in the present, she has to fight Tovalar. Now she did this once before, years ago, challenging him as Alpha, because they disagreed on whether humans were worth sparing. She tried and failed to kill him. He tried and failed to keep her. Tovalar smiles at her. Her only thought is to wipe that smile off his face. So she charges forward, jaws ready to clamp on his throat. He blocks with his forearm and blood fills her mouth. He twists and sends her to the ground. He says, Come home. She howls, Ow! And goes for him again, clawing at him. But he doesn't move. He doesn't, and he does not stop smiling. So he grabs her around the waist while she, like, pummels his back with hits. And then he does, like, a belly-to-belly a -belly suplex. Suplexes her into a split tree trunk. Candles fly. A small fire starts. Suplex city. Suplex city. A piece of wood pierced her shoulder in the impact. And so she, like... Ugh, she's stabbed with wood. She breaks her way out and then just like tears the wood from her shoulder and then she plunges it into Tovalar's leg. <sighs> Finally, the smile, it's gone. And a great howl replaces it. She has pierced him all the way through his leg. Then, teeth sink into her shoulders and weight pulls her down. And her head cracks against the discarded helmet of a dead guard. She hears ringing in her ears. But then... Familiar faces flood into view. Red Tooth, Boulder at her feet, Streak with his jaws locked on her already wounded shoulder. Their happy, playful faces are nowhere to be found. CGB, they're biting her. I'm really upset about this part of the story. This could be a one on one battle. He turned her. He turned her wolves against her, and I'm really not happy with this part of the story. So, as the ringing in her ears begins to die down, she sees Tovalar standing over her. And he pulls the hunk of wood from his leg. And the only word she can make out is him talking. Home. He says home. Home. Now. But this isn't home. Get to the home. <laughs> She you too good for your home? Answer me. <laughs> <laughs> she tries to sit up. She tries to headbutt him, but Boulder's teeth clamp down and, and like push her back down. Tovalar says, Don't have to fight. Join the hunt. This is who you are, don't you? Stand. Don't have to hide. Anymore. He extends a paw to her. She wants to slap it away. The church hates this part of you, but I don't. The pack doesn't. Arlen realizes Patience, Patience the wolf, isn't with her pack mates. She can smell her not far away. She locks eyes with her, and Patience starts to lope towards her. Tovalar insists, Tell me you're coming home, right now. Tell me you're coming home and I'll let you go, Arlen, please. We want you with us. You belong with us. He isn't going to let up until she tells him what he wants to hear. So she manages to slur out, I'm, I'm home. <laughs> it isn't a lie. The woods are home. The wolves are home. The church is home. All of it is. Tovalar helps her up and hugs her tight. This, too, 
is home. Like once, this would have meant the world to her. And it still does, like to know he's actually capable of this much gentleness. But whatever kindness he shows now can't wipe away what he's done today. The Tovalar who looked after her had grown into the Tovalar who attacks innocence, and she's grown away from him. But he has not grown away from her. So she's dizzy and bleeding. She will not get a better opportunity than this. She knows this is a total heel move. This isn't cool, but she needs to stop the attack and the ends justify the means. So while they're hugging, <laughs> she drives her claws deep into his sternum. And she says, Innistrad is home, Tovalar, and as long as I can breathe, I'm going to protect it. He gasps, <gasps> and he digs his claw into her shoulder like, <laughs> but she stands with her hand still buried in him. Call off the attack. Like, honestly, he'll probably be okay once his shamans get a look at him, but she's never seen him staggered like this. She hasn't just hurt him physically. Something inside him is broken. You lied. Call it off. He closes his eyes. Then, in a choked gurgle, he says, Fine. He says, fine. Fine. <laughs> it will. <laughs> so she sets him down, withdraws her hand, makes sure he's sitting up. Good buddy. And because the others would eat him alive if they catch him doubled over. Like she knows like wolf rules. Okay. Wolf wolf law is you look weak, we can eat you, I think. Uh so Tovalar looks at her again. She shakes her head. A howl goes up. From Tovalar, a call for retreat that only wolves understand. A wolf howl of, let's go home. Ow! Ow! Shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't ask her to follow. So. He leaves. The werewolves leave. And. Alpha. Arlen the Alpha. So the wolves leave the massacre, and the witches and the guards tend to the wounded, but there are so many dead. But Arlen thinks to herself, there's going to be time to mourn later. For any of this to mean something, the ritual must be completed. <laughs> Just checking in with chat. Such betrayal. Top 10 wolf betrayal. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> BGB killed them, sus? <laughs> Patience is a win con. We can yep, tell where my yep. fans are at. Yeah. <laughs> Patience. So, um, let's, let, where, where are my friends at? Okay. So, uh, Chandra and Adeline quickly show up and they're like, um, hey, want to ride on the back of our horse? And Arlen's kind of annoyed that she's being outrun by a horse. Like, whatever um so but she shifts back to her human form and she does take the ride so they go on a ride and we're going to celestis so that requires a change of scenery boom yay whoops stay there background yeah so now she's human again and turn off wolf mode okay this is where we're going. I'm going to do something really quick. What are you going to do? Well, this will keep you from ever accidentally moving your background. Oh, good job. You can still change it, but now it won't move by accident. Yay! Go Thank on. you. I appreciate that very much. So there's a thick crowd gathered around the central platform of Celestis. Everybody's chanting. There's five on the edge of the platform, like, drumming in time to the chanting. We've got a drum circle at the Harvest Tide. Um, five are between them, leading like a super jarring dance. What What do you think the dance looks like? Bone zone. They push up the ceiling? 100% bone zone. Very jarring. Mm -hmm. Twitch gets it. <laughs> In the center is Katilda. She's wearing a mask at this point. And uh, Kaya is also there. And Kaya is holding the moon silver key. 
make her a little smaller. So we can fit everybody here. Um, <laughs> time to waltz, says HD. <laughs> um, well, when Kaya sees them, she waves them over, like, mm. and Chandra and Adeline help Arlen off the horse and onto the platform. But she's still, like, really badly injured. She had a heck of a fight. And now it gets, like, super creepy. Because at once, the witches all speak together in combined voices, and they say, Arlen Cord! She was like, um, I've come. She's really not sure what to say, but that sounds maybe right. Child of blood and fang, you stand on the line of dawn, where night and day meet. You will lend us your strength. Arlen's like, uh, what do you need? Will, will you spill your blood for the day? day? Will, Will your, your fangs, fangs protect, protect those who, who live in, in fear? And Arlen steps forward, and she says, I will. So, we're going to do a ritual now. Woo. Um, they have her anoint the sun gold lock. She kind of touches her wounded shoulder and then smears it on the inside of a, of a bowl. And then she takes one of the herbs from the altar and just kind of bites into it. Rah, rah, here's my fangs. And then sets it down on top of the blood. Did they have we a could? rehearsal dinner or something? They did not have a rehearsal dinner. She has no stuff? idea what she's supposed to be doing. She's guessing. Okay, fine. Um, and the bowl begins to hum. And then so does Celestis. The great mm. gears are groaning and springing to life. And the ground shifts underneath her. It's, it's getting very weird in here. So Catilda gestures for the moon silver key, and Kaya sets it down. The coven offers root and soul, says Catilda. And then she like picks up this huge gnarled root, like the size of an arm. And then she kind of flicks it with her finger, and it fades to ash. And then she smears that on the inside of the bowl. Arlen kind of wants to ask um, what this soul business is about. But Catilda's not exactly offering up the floor for questions. There can be no interruptions. The ritual must continue. Do you think that'll be important? Thanks for the sub, Adamant, but you interrupted the ritual. <laughs> there can be no interruptions. No interruptions. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> A silver glow comes into Catilda's eyes. Oh, yeah, there we go. Boom. Move you down here. Uh... Her mouth opens, and then a stream of silver comes out and pours into the bowl. In my head, this looks like she's, like, getting the Dementor's kiss, and, like, her... It's, like, just coming out of her mouth, and her soul is leaving. Yeah, her body starts to go limp, and other witches, like, kind of come up and, like, loop their arms with hers to support her, keep her upright. And, uh, Arlen looks at Kaya, like, is this really okay? But Kaya is looking up at a shadow over the altar that smells like death. <gasps> oh no! It's Olivia! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Olivia Voldaren swoops down from the sky, reaching for the moon silver key, and Arlen dives for it, and she clutches it close to her stomach as she hits the ground, like a football player covering up a fumble. Olivia flies back, above them with Catilda's body limp in her arms, and she sneers down at them and brays awful laughter. <laughs> I don't remember what her voice sounded like. Hmm. Seems we're at an impasse. I've got your witch. You've got my key. Arlen says, neither are yours. Olivia says, actually, the key is very much mine. I need it terribly, you see. What I don't need is an old witch. And Kaya at Arlen's side and says, I, hey, psh, Arlen, I saw Catilda's soul leave her during the ritual, but now I don't really know what's going on with it since Olivia showed up. We should probably be worried about that. And then Chandra's like... <laughs> So we blast her, right? <laughs> Kaya says, no, you can't, can't do that. We might 
hit Katilda, like, think. <laughs> Above, Olivia announces, I'm bored of waiting for an answer. So she breaks her claws across Katilda's chest and blood sprays on the crowd below. Kind of like in the Adams Family movie when it, they got like the whole like first few rows. <laughs> it's very simple. You either give me the key and I get to planning my festivities or you waste my time and your friend dies. Arlen scowls. Yeah, what if what if we complete the ritual? Hmm. And Kaya whispers like, um, do we really have time for that? Do we even know how to do that? I don't think we know what we're doing. <laughs> and the fairy, he's like still out of commission from that long sunset earlier, so he's no help. We need time, Ugh. and we can't have time because he's he's tired. Old Gandalf. He's probably taking a nap or something. So they they look at the witches like witches. Anything? Anything? They're like, uh, she's the only one who knows it. We don't really know anything. <laughs> Olivia shouts, boring, and she begins to raise her hand again. There isn't enough time to consider everything or find another way through this. Innistrad must survive. So Arlen hurls the key with her good arm. Olivia's eyes light up. Ah, and she snatches the key from the air with her free hand. Arlen shouts, drop Katilda. Olivia says, that's no way to treat a soon-to-be bride. Kaya says, a deal's a deal. Hand her over. I still don't know what that comment means about the soon-to-be bride. Do you have any ideas? Crimson Vow is an entire set that's coming out in about five weeks that's dedicated to a vampiric wedding. So she needs the key to plan her uh, a wedding. Bridezilla Ooh. coming in hot. Woo! Don't mess with my wedding. I am registered. Uh, Olivia says, fine, catch. Arlen will relive this moment over and over again in her mind, thinking about what she could have done differently if she had been faster, if she had chosen differently. For it's one thing to fall from a great height, and it's another entirely when a vampire throws you. Katilda's body hurdles toward the altar with astonishing speed. All Arlen can do is throw herself underneath to attempt to cushion her fall. Bones crack as Katilda crashes against Arlen and Arlen crashes against the altar. When the world stops spinning, the vampire is gone. Blown away. The key is gone. Celestis is silent. It is night on Innistrad. It will be night from here to eternity. And that's where they leave us. The... Mm hmm Ooh. <laughs> Wow, they're, uh... They really got a lot accomplished there with their festival. <laughs> they carved so many pumpkins. Oh, they tried so hard. <laughs> they got so far. In the end, it didn't even matter. It didn't even matter. And now Katilda's all soulless dead. Arlen's all busted up. The altar's destroyed. Tovalar's got holes in his guts, whining somewhere in the woods with the werewolves. He's probably licking his wounds. The fairy's taking a nap. Chandra did nothing this entire story. Chandra got, like, she's kind of mad because she didn't get to blow off her steam at the end. She, she's going to crash this wedding and light it on fire, isn't she? I hope so. I hope she burns it all to the ground. Hmm. That would be a good, good thing. Yeah, no matter how many how many pumpkin sons were given out to angelic children, we didn't do the ritual. I thought Olivia said she didn't care. Didn't we have an aside just for her to say that she didn't care about this? She said, if they're doing your work for you, it's fine. 
So the lackey she was talking to was like, we kill them now, right? And she's like, nah, it's fine. So I guess she does need the key, but I don't know what she needs it for because if it goes in the sun gold lock, if it fits in the sun gold lock, which is part of Celestis, I'm under the impression, what does the key do if it's not to go in the lock it fits into? What is the key for at her wedding? Or does she just want to stop the ritual because it would mess up her wedding? Probably opens her chastity belt. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> oh, chat has the same idea. <laughs> yeah, do you... Is that the groom? Do you think that Soren's supposed to be the groom? You got out of there somehow. <laughs> you got out of the wall. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll see. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it sounds like Catilda might be dead and without a soul. But yep. we're not sure. She, For all we know, she's in a coma with a partial soul. Maybe it didn't all come out of her. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Well, like, how long do we have to wait until the next part comes out i'm fine with her being dead you're fine with katilda yeah, being dead i'm good with the it. only person who can bring back the day yeah. you're like that's fine i get somebody else to do it she's the only one who knows how to do it she's the only one who knows how to do it with a stupid ritual that didn't even work and got everybody did, killed we don't know if it doesn't work she didn't get to finish nah, it didn't if she work. had done it and then it didn't work then we could all look at her like she's dumb eminem says you only get one shot <laughs> mom spaghetti it's over she's out we need somebody else somebody fresh to bring back the sunshine we need a new coaching staff a new quarterback yeah we need a whole whole new squad everything will be better lk mentions victor that victor might be a groom who's victor i don't know i don't care like, lk we'll who's victor out. i don't know it's a lore thing some people know more lore than others waltzing katilda no 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 stop Cease this, cease this aggression. <laughs> now we need somebody else. Who who can do cool day night stuff? Tovalar, right? Doesn't he control? Like he? No, they just no. control their werewolfiness. Like yeah. they can werewolf morph whenever they want. So who who? What's a planeswalker who knows their way around the day and the night? Who can just whoosh wha? Well, we know Teferi does time. Yeah. But if the day's already gone, I don't think he can back that thing up. Oh, I was really looking for someone to back that thing up. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who's got the power over day and night. I can't think of anybody. Oh, Romeo's asking, can Teferi bring the dawn? Is that a thing Teferi does? That's what Gandalf does. <laughs> it's a good Gandalf move. Lyra is officially called a dawn bringer. She's on Dominaria, though, not a planeswalker. Oh. Why can't we help people get from plane to plane when they're not planeswalkers? Mm -hmm. Oh, can we, we can. We can, like, mega hug them, right? Call them an Uber? I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like it's been done. Hmm. I don't know. It's so mysterious. I, I, I told you when I finished the story that I was, I was unsatisfied with the cliffhanger because it's just like, ah! Well, new set uh. release is in, like, five weeks. Five weeks? So, yeah. The well, night has to go on for five weeks while we wait? The World Championships are this weekend. It would be a good, <laughs> like, I don't know if they're going to add any preview cards, but they'll probably, like, preview one or two cards, because why wouldn't you when you're doing your World Championship? And then I'm, be I'm betting next week or the week after they'll have their big Here Comes Crimson Vow stream. Yay! And, uh, yeah. So, a couple weeks, stuff will happen. <sighs> I really wanted to know if it would work. It didn't. Now you know. Colossal fail. I still want to know, does she only want the key to prevent the ritual, or is it actually important to the wedding? It's important to something. It's important to an Olivia thingy. It opens a jewelry box with her ring in it? I don't know. <laughs> Probably. It, I mean, it, 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 it could be anything, but we're supposed to wonder. That's fine. Uh, it's going to be fun to speculate on what Olivia's wedding would be like. You like vampires? There'll be a lot. So it's going to be a lot of vampiric arty stuff. The next one, you're going to love it <laughs> so much. I like.
like wolves better. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I wonder if the werewolves will come to the wedding and mess it up. What can can Arlen call the werewolves and be like, let's storm the wedding? Storm the wedding. New that card. That can be a card. Storm a the card. wedding. Arlen the Alpha calls all of Tovalar's pack and they storm the wedding. Have fun storming the castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, we're we're going to find out soon. Yeah. In the meantime, if you enjoyed Covert Go Lore, make sure that you hit the subscribe button on YouTube or the follow yeah. button on Twitch. Let Jackie know that you enjoy these. She puts a lot of time into reading and writing and preparing the show. So uh, doing it strictly for the love and for the fans right now. So just showing her any kind of free perks, such as hitting subscribe on YouTube or follow on Twitch will mean a lot to her. And uh, what's going on? And sometime next week, um, we might try a little bit of a different format with how we do these to maybe try out some of the side stories. Yeah. And see if we can flesh we'll out this world stories. a little. So do follow the channel so you know when we do that. <laughs> Yay. Okay, that's the plan. Yeah, sounds good. I'm going to bounce. Cool. I'm going to play Phasmophobia, so if anyone wants to stick around and watch me be a ghost hunter, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>